Yeah, guys, well, right now I'm in Youngstown. I'm at the uh, Salt Dome, and they're going to be needing a lot more of that salt as we go throughout the week. Like you said, I headed out with ODOT earlier, and we were kind of on the roads, and the morning crews kind of took care of the, the gist of it, but we were kind of pushing stuff off to the shoulders at that point. They said they'll be out tonight until about midnight in preparation for those uh, sub zero or sub uh, freezing temperatures. But the other problem is this weekend we're going to be getting some more rain, snow, and icy mix. And they said that they are watching for that, and they told me that they are prepared for that as well. We're going to get hit with something. They'll they'll pre-plan for that. They'll uh, they'll tell us what materials to load. They'll watch it carefully as to what time it's going to hit, and they'll set up shifts accordingly. Yeah, we'll take about a 30 degree drop from the 50s to the 20s, and they were telling me that they use salt, brine, and calcium. And the difference between those is uh, the calcium is used for more of those below 20 temperatures. It kind of activates itself, while the salt needs the brine to activate because it lowers the freezing point of that uh, ice and snow. But our team of meteorologists will be keeping you updated all throughout the week on what kind of road conditions that you can expect. So live in Youngstown tonight, I'm Alexis Walters for WKBN 27 First News.